Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Wayne Rooney claims Manchester United forward Alejandro Garnacho was the best player. Manchester United secured a tunnel victory over Everton at Old Trafford on Saturday to return to winning ways, getting their Champions League qualifications for next season back on a track. The Red Devils headed into the game on the back of consecutive league defeats at the hands of Fulham and Manchester City, and while they did not perform excellently well against the Toffees, they got the job done and picked up all three points. Argentine forward Alejandro Garnacho deservedly won the Match of the Match award after a terrific performance and Man United legend Wayne Rooney was pleased with what he saw, showering praise on him after the game. He said, Alejandro Garnacho was certainly the best player on the pitch. Garnacho was caught by rush challenges by James Trakowski and Ben Godfrey in the Everton box in the first half, and Man United were awarded a penalty on each occasion. Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford converted from the spot in the 12th and 36th minute, respectively, to secure the win for the Red Devils, and while Everton became the fifth side in six Premier League games to have at least 20 shots against them, they held on to a much-needed victory in the end. Man United remain in 6th place after 28 games, 8 points behind 4th placed Aston Villa, who have played one less game, and they will need to win all the remaining 10 games if they want to play in the Elite Europe competition next season. They return to Premier League action after the international break against Brantford on March 30, with league games against Chelsea, Liverpool, Bournemouth and Newcastle United to follow. They faced Sheffield United, Burnley, Crystal Palace, Arsenal and Brighton and Hove Albion in the remaining league games, and failure to pick up much-needed points in those remaining fixtures could see them miss out on the Champions League. Eric Ten Hag believes Rasmus Hoyland will continue his good form after he returns from injury. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has no doubt that Rasmus Hoyland will continue his goal-scoring form once he returns from injury. Hoyland has been in lethal form lately, bagging six goals and two assists in five Premier League games in February. Unfortunately, he suffered a muscle injury that forced him to miss the matches against Fulham and Manchester City. The 65 million euros rated forward deservingly won the Premier League Player of the Month for February 2024. Tanhak told ManUnited.com the following. He had a difficult first half of the season in the Premier League, but scored many goals in the Champions League. He was disappointed that it took a long time before he could get his first league goal, and after his first goal, he made money and he was in a very good flow. So he has to pick that up once he is returning, and I'm sure he will do, but this prize will help him, it will be supportive of this, and will push him even more. The star striker could be available against Liverpool in the FA Cup quarter final, as confirmed by the United manager on Friday. His absence paralyzes the United attack, as no other designated striker is available in the squad. Man United have struggled to score goals this season, but they found some chemistry in the final third since January. The muscle injury to Hoyland came at the wrong time, but Ten Hag is hopeful that the youngster will pick up where he left off. The FA Cup clash against Liverpool will be the best time for the striker to return, considering the domestic tournament is United's last hope of silverware. Eric Ten Hag says Tyrell Malasia could be ruled out for the rest of the season. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has said that Tyrell Malasia may not return from his long-term knee injury before the end of the campaign. The Netherlands international reported for a pre-season last summer with a knee injury. He subsequently underwent a surgery for the same concern. The 24-year-old has since suffered setbacks in his recovery 
And speaking in yesterday's press conference, Ten Hag said that he won't be available this term. He told ManUnited.com the following, I think it's going to be difficult for Malaysia to be available this season, but he will fight. He is back on the pitch, but not in the team. In the process, he had some setbacks, and he is still going really slowly forward, and the season is coming to an end. When pressed on Luke Shaw's injury, the manager added that his situation is quite similar, though he could be available for the final games of the campaign. He added, I think it's the same, yeah, maybe for the last games of the season, but we don't expect him back this month or next month. As a team and as a squad, we have to deal with it. United have had a tough campaign, injuries have partly been the reason Malaysia has been on the sidelines from the start of the season with his knee problems, Shaw has been unreliable with his fitness too, he has picked up multiple muscular injuries, the Englishman is not expected to return before the start of May. With the Dio injured, Victor Lindelof has been operating as an emergency left back. Diogo Dallo is more comfortable in the role than the Swedi, but the injury to right back Aaron Wan Bissaka has meant that Ten Hag has not had that option. We are still surprised why Sergio Regulon's loan deal was cancelled in January. The Spaniard would have provided good cover in the absence of Shaw and Malasia. Fabrizio Romano confirms Man United have decided to buy a new left back in the summer. With the future of the likes of Rafael Varane, Johnny Evans, Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof far from secure, central defense has widely been tipped to be the main priority for United. However, according to Romano, the left back role will also be addressed by the club at the moment. Eric Ten Hag has no senior and fit left back available for selection. Both Luke Shaw and Terrell Malasia are currently out with long term injuries. According to Romano, Manchester United have already planned months ago to bring in a new left back in the summer, expected to be a young one, an important player. Short list to be decided once board structure will be completed, but Manchester United will go for left back no matter what happens with Malasia. The upcoming window is gradually shaping up to be a pivotal one in United's history. Sean Deitch confirms Everton's transfer stance on Gerard Branthwaite amid heavy Man United links. Everton boss Sean Deitch has confirmed that his side are not at all interested in selling star defender Gerard Branthwaite, who is of interest of Manchester United. He said, We don't want to sell any good players. It's as simple as that, and he is proven to be a very good player. We are not in the business of trying to sell players. You only sell players if you have to sell players, or there is a problem. There is no problem. Therefore, I'm just hoping we don't need to sell players. At the minute, we certainly don't, so we will see. Deitch revealed that he immediately knew Brantwaite was special from the first time he saw him play. He said, what I saw of him, I liked. When the timing was right, I thought, go on then, go and enjoy it, go and have a go. I didn't have to say anything to him, just go and play. He adapted well, there are things he still needs to work on, but you unravel a player slowly, you can't just fast track everything into them and say, that's it. So while he is developing nicely, and while he is learning, sometimes the hardest thing is not to coach at all, when you just step away and go, no, no, you are fine, you keep doing what you are doing, there is the old little team, tactical pointers, but I'm not breaking it down every game and saying, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, let him naturally learn as he develops. Ditch added that Branthwaite has been learning from his more senior teammates, Michael Keane and James Targovsky. Amidst all this, the mirror states that United feel Branthwaite could have a bright future at the club. It's believed that the 20-time English champions feel they can sign the 21-year-old this summer because of Everton's precarious situation with regard to the Premier League's profitability and sustainability rules. Manchester United, among Premier League quartet-eyeing young left-back Luca Neds. 
Considering shows for injury record and Malaysia's uncertainty in future, the club will need to strengthen at left back in the summer. The names of Miguel Gutierrez, Tino Livramento have been doing the rounds, and now HITC Football have added Borussia Mönchengladbach star Luka Nads to that list. The 20-year-old has been one of the standout performers in Bundesliga with five assists in 24 games and a host of European giants are plotting a summer move. Apart from the 20-time English League champions, the Germany Under-21 international is also being watched closely by Arsenal, Chelsea, Newcastle and West Ham. Bayern Munich, who are expected to lose Alfonso Davis at the conclusion of the current term, are also going to be in the market for a replacement, and we all know what usually happens when the Bavarian giants are interested in a young German star. The report of HITC reads the following. Mikel Arteta's Arsenal, Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United, Eddie Howe's Newcastle United and Mauricio Pochettino's Chelsea are all showing interest in Luka Neds. West Ham United also watched Neds earlier in the season. HITC has been told that Neds is on Bayern Munich radar as well. The Germany under-21 international left-back is someone Bayern are assessing ahead of the summer when they are likely to lose Alfonso Davis. Neds joined Mönchengladbach back in 2021 from Hertha Berlin and currently has a market value of 10 million euros according to transfer market with his current deal valid until 2026. He has been described as a great talent who's totally carefree but also cheeky by former manager Adi Hatter. The defender, who is six feet tall, is strong in aerial duels and adept at crucial blocks while defending. This race could get hitted in the months to come and Inuyas will need to act fast if they are serious about overcoming Bayern in the race. Manchester United to compete with Liverpool for 18-year-old Frenchman. French defender Lenny Yoro has been linked with a move away from Lille at the end of the season. The 18-year-old defender is highly rated across Europe and the clubs like Manchester United and Liverpool are keen on signing him. The two English clubs have already expressed their interest in signing the player and they will face competition from Barcelona and Real Madrid. A report from Vigaches claims that there will be extensive competition for the French defender at the end of the season. Manchester United need to bring in a quality central defender especially with the players like Johnny Evans linked with an exit. Euro would be the ideal long-term alternative and he could develop into a key player for the Red Devils. The 18-year-old has already established himself as an important first-team player at his age and he is only going to get better with coaching and experience. He has all the tools to develop into a top-class central defender. Similarly, Liverpool need to plan for a future without Joel Matip, who is expected to move on in the summer. Yorok would be a superb option for both English clubs, and it remains to be seen where he ends up. With Real Madrid and Barcelona keen on securing his services, signing the player will not be easy. Manchester United and Liverpool certainly have the financial resources to pay a premium for the young defender and it remains to be seen whether they can convince the player. The 18-year-old central defender must look to join a club when he will get ample game time and he will be able to fulfill his ambitions. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.